Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to take you through on how you can create a footer using the new Elementor theme builder that just came out in 3.0 and above. So to get started of course you would have Elementor Pro and we are simply going to come over here to templates under Elementor and then theme builder. And once you are into the theme builder you can choose to click over here on the footer or you can simply just say try out new theme builder. In this case let's go to footer section and we can say add a new filter and we can name this to be our footer so we can say create footer template now this will take you straight into the elementor footer library since you are a pro user and uh, for me at the moment i will not use a pre-made template so we'll simply just start something from scratch so i'm going to close this up and here i am we already have our header and we are simply going to add a footer so let me first close up my navigation i'm going to add a new section and i'm going to add it to have three columns so i'll simply just say add it with three columns and we are going to add our footer with a couple of things for example i'm going to add a footer navigation the site copyright info and about a dummy testimonial and an opt-in so we are going to simply just add first a text widget so we are going to come over here grab our text widget one uh, a dummy testimonial widget just one testimonial widget and maybe an opt-in form we can just come over here and say uh, form so we can just add this over here Now we have our form, our dummy testimonial, and our about section. Next, what we're going to add is we're going to simply create something else. And this is going to be like an inner section that we are going to add below here that will actually display our footer navigation and also our copyright info. So we're going to add a new section. And inside that section, we're going to add an inner section. So we come over here, grab an inner section, Boom, so there we have an inner section. Duplicate this inner section. And now that means we'll have two other columns below. So those two other columns below will be holding our copyright info and our footer navigation. And up here we're going to simply just duplicate this other section in the first inner section. So we're going to duplicate or add a new column. So I'm now going to grab my widgets into the other column. And this other column and this other column now i'll delete the first section that we had created now down below here we're going to simply add our copyright info so we are going to come over here an icon so icon box grab it over here and in the next one we are going to add a menu so navigation which is a navigation menu grab it and paste it over there at the moment it is showing the main navigation so what we are going to do first is first to save a draft and we are going to simply come or exit to the dashboard and we create our footer navigation so under the dashboard come to appearance menus we are going to create a new menu and this is going to be our footer menu. Assign it to the footer and then I create it. Then I'm going to add the items that belong to the footer. So maybe we need our shop page to be on the footer and a couple of other pages. So by going to pages, all pages, I'm going to make sure that my privacy policy is actually not a draft but published. I'll say quick edit, I'll say published. And uh, that's all. Now I can simply go back to my menus. One, I'm going to add my privacy policy page and my shop page and the sample page. And I'll rename my sample page to, let me say, terms page. Terms, something like that. Then you can have your shop page come first, the privacy policy or the terms. And you're good to go. I'll simply now save. Now I'll exit this, go back to our footer section. I'll reload this simply to update the builder 
they'll come back over here our navigation widget and now i have the option to select the footer menu cool so we are going to use roboto all over so the best way to do this is by coming over here to the site settings so under site settings you can come over here in the design system select the global fonts primary font is going to be poppins which is the font and automatically you see that now everything is switching to our primary font the same we are going to do for the secondary font we are going to choose poppins so all over our secondary and primary texts are being used we'll be using poppins so that we don't need to always keep choosing or switching the font face that we are using cool now that is done now what i'm going to do is update this section i'm going now to exit back to the editor what we are going to do is of course we are going to start editing these sections first of all we're going to add a title here so about us or about global studies and here you can add all the content that you so wish to use in that section i'll grab my color that i want to use come to style over here and i'll add my color and um, the same i'm going to do for all the other sections where i want to use like similar color so by selecting the whole section i'm going to come to style and i'm going to add a background which is going to be a dark color or something like that then what i'm going to do i come over here to our testimonial widget i'm going to choose that the font over here is a little bit smaller not that large so i'll come first of all select this come to the style typography i'll just simply reduce on the font size maybe 12 works best add a little bit on the content i'm going to come over here on our testimonial widget come to style uh, typography is going to be just 12 and over here we have our testimonial or the person giving us the testimonial uh, we can work on their image and the size and their title so for the name i want it to be that color which we want to use and the rest will stay in the default color let me come back to content i'll choose the image of the person giving us the testimonial Once the image is uploaded, I'll simply just add it over there. I can choose to use the full image or simply use a thumbnail. So I'll simply just use a thumbnail. Then I'll give this person a name, Susan Deo, who is the artist. And that's all. The other thing that I'm going to do is now to customize our form input so in this case we want this to be our newsletter option or opt-in form so i'm going to simply just remove the message field and i'm going to make sure that for the button we're going to say subscribe and we are going to give it a style for the button so come down to button under style background color is going to be the background color we are using and if we get back here after the button we have the action after submit it's going to go to the email and this person will be subscribing onto our email list which is in mailchimp we can also name our form newsletter come to under name we can say the type is text and label label will be name if we leave these as they are the labels we can simply just come over here and we don't show the labels something just like this or we can simply just also say we only want to collect the emails without necessarily collecting the names but now i'll leave it just at that now we have done setting up our opt-in form the actions after submit it will go to mailchimp and over here you link up your mailchimp api key so by simply adding over here your mailchimp api key simply copy it from mailchimp i have a specific tutorial on that and you can check it down in the description box below so back to our section over here we're going to give it some padding so i'm going to select this whole 
inner section come to advanced padding and we are going to give it a padding for top bottom so i'm going to unlink give it a padding of 20 on the top or let me say 30 and also bottom we're going to give it a padding of 30. then down below here we are going to add our copyright information by selecting this come over here to the icon and i'm going to grab a copyright sign which is this so copyright symbol i'm going to add over here global studies in 2020 and i'm going to come to the style option and under style i'm going to come to our icon give it the color that we want to use uh, we're going to reduce its size and under content remember we can align this icon to be on the right that's where we want it to be and now when we come back to the style option we can increase or reduce the spacing before or after and even the size of the icon so we want it to be customer something like that then for the content we can reduce of course the size of the content so under typography and we will simply want to have our content in white so under typography we are going to reduce the title to be something very small just like that i think 12 works best and we will use the same font size even for these other items so for the content we're not going to have content so we're going to come back here to content and we'll delete everything that is under content because we don't need or we won't have any content now we come to the other section so we want to select our navigation come to style we're going to change the color of this is going to be white completely and the typography is going to be just 12 just to the size of this other and then we are going to make sure that this menu doesn't drop down for example on the tablet we don't want to drop down like as it's appearing the same for mobile so to do that we are simply just going to come back here to the desktop or any device you choose and you are going to make sure that for the under content scroll down to mobile drop down say none so when you say none and we go to mobile it will stay as a complete footer menu just like you see over here even for the tablet that's how it will look like now what we are going to do is now to remove the padding the styles and everything for this menu i'm going to select this i'm going to come to the style we're going to come to the pointer and say none we don't want to have a pointer for these menu items and we're going to align it to the left so that it's basically at the other end so we're just going to leave it as it is and then for this first section we're going to select the column vertical align we're going to make it to be in the middle even for the other section we're going to vertically align everything in a middle now when we preview this on tablet looks good mobile looks good now we can preview this uh, it looks fine the padding the information the testimonials and also our opt-in form looks good and the last footer copyright notes for mobile looks fine for tablet too and also looks fine on the desktop so that's all for now how we can create our footer using the new elementor theme builder what you need to do is now to publish our footer and before we actually do publish under publish we're going to add a condition and we want it to display on the entire website and that's all so if you want to preview how this looks like we simply click on preview and it will take us to a page that looks just like this and shows our footer maybe one thing that is missing we didn't use any of our theme colors so what we're going to do is we can simply just maybe drop it in here come to my menu items style and i'll just give it that color so just give it our small color that is also here in the menu so just to keep some kind of uniformity now when we click here and now we preview looks pretty good a testimonial about and all this so in a nutshell that's how you can create 
your footer using the new Elementor theme builder. In case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.